Hello everyone, hey, thanks for tuning in. I just want to say thank you all for your support. I appreciate it. Please keep it coming. As I stated in my previous video, once I reach 500 subscribers, I will be doing a giveaway. So I'm currently at 438. So if you would, please do me a favor and please leave a like, share, subscribe, turn on notifications, leave a comment below on this video. Let me know what you think. Hello everyone, welcome, this is Straight to the Point Tech. I'm back again with a new video. And for today's video, we're gonna be talking about how to get the MSI Claw AI Plus close to an OLED display. Now, I know previously, um, a couple of subscribers have asked me multiple times, like, hey, 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 you know, why is your screen so clear and colorful? How do you get it to look like this and that? So I'm gonna show you all what the uh, best settings uh, to adjust in the graphics option for the device. So let's get straight to it. I don't wanna talk too much. All right, so first things first, what we're gonna do is this. So you're gonna hit the uh, Windows logo here. And what you're gonna do is you are going to type in Intel graphics software. So we're gonna to touch this here. And the next thing you're gonna do is you're gonna have uh, one, two, three. You're gonna have um, six different options here in the top left corner. You wanna select display, all right? Now, this is what you wanna see here. So we're gonna go over a few things really quick. This is gonna be a really quick video, but um, again, I just want you to all have the best experience on your device. So what we're gonna do is, is just take a look at the settings, the colors or whatever, et cetera, and then you know, we'll go from there. I won't, like I said, I won't take too long. All right, now that we are here in the display graphics options, here's what I want you to do. Make sure that you have scaling mode set to display scaling, scaling method set to maintain display scaling, and I want you to have variable refresh rate enabled. Some of y'all may have had it disabled and you know can't figure out why, or for whatever the case may be, you're not sure how to enable it in this window settings, but you wanna make sure it's enabled here and there as well. Um, and then what you want to do is set hue to zero, right? Keep your saturation set between 90 to 95. So understand this, right? The higher you go as far as colors, you're going to get more vibrancy. I like to keep it just the perfect medium, which in my opinion, to me, too colorful, it kind of looks weird. Low colorful, it's like no volume or vibrancy. I think 85 is the perfect medium. So what I would recommend you do is set your saturation to 85. And then as far as like, you know, brightness, keep it between 75 and keep it between 80. Right now, that totally depends on your eyes and everything like that. It's totally up to you. Mine is currently, you know, set as far as like from a basic perspective, 50, right? Because OLED is a little bit darker, right? But also you have some OLEDs which have, you know, a high nit, you know, volume. But I would keep it on basic 50. That's just my recommendation. Unless you want to go to, you know, the slider and increase it a little bit more. I think 50 is perfect. And then you could just turn up your display settings, uh, brightness and whatever you want to go from there and do you can and then i have contrast set to basic 50 as well again you can increase this at your own discretion but i would recommend for your contrast going anywhere from between you know 50 to 65 maximum if you want to get deeper blacks don't go any higher than that um you know that that's good and, you know, again, if you want to do a little bit more, you can also switch it to advanced mode um, to change the RGBs. But, you know, other than that, just set it to 50 to 65. That's perfect, perfect medium. And then quantization range where you could tune, you know, the black and white levels. What I recommend is you change it to full. Again, if you really want to be able to take advantage of you know, getting things like similar to an OLED. Now I have it set default because I did change some things in here for y'all, you know, so y'all can kind of understand a few things. However, though, yes, you definitely want to keep this set to full. So you get the full saturation, full color, everything, all that. And then, you know, as far as everything else goes, we're gonna scroll down a little bit more. I wanna take my time so you guys understand what I'm doing. So I have the color depth set to eight bits per color. That's all you need it for. 
Don't worry about exactly what it does. Just listen to me, keep it at eight bits. And then you want the color format to be set to RGB. And that's it. Don't mess with anything else down here. Now, if you want to, you know, um, toy with everything else like performance and understand what graphics and profiles are, et cetera, et cetera. I can go over that uh, for y'all in another video, but this was just a quick video to, you know, explain to y'all how to get your display on par or close enough to an OLED. Not going to be an OLED, not going to get the blacks like an OLED, but trust me, these settings will get your display looking crispy. Trust me. All right, y'all, well, I'm checking out. Thank y'all again. I just wanted to make this quick video. More videos coming soon. Stay tuned. They just dropped the new MPU driver update last night, so we're going to go over that. I've been testing a few games. We'll test some new games this time around. I'm not going to test the games that you all know I've tested in the past. So, again, I appreciate your support. This is Straight to the Point Tech. I'm out. Peace.